Hey everybody, so as a student here at Penn State, I'm involved with a bunch of stuff, but my favorite thing that I'm involved in is Onward State. It's the most followed student media outlet in the world, and we get to do a whole bunch of cool stuff, but definitely one of the coolest things we do is THON. We cover THON, which is a 46-hour dance marathon benefiting Four Diamonds, an organization that is aiming to end childhood cancer. And for Onward State, I got to be press for this event, which was an awesome experience, especially as a first year student. And even though I wasn't there for all 46 hours, I figured I would take you through my weekend and show you what I did to cover THON. So like I said before, for Onward State we get to do a lot of really cool stuff and uh, one of the things we get to do is cover sports. So before Thon even got going, uh, I covered this women's hockey game from my little hole in the glass. Uh, the game was at 2 o'clock, Thon didn't start until 6, um, and I didn't have a shift until midnight. So I got to enjoy this game and uh, take some pretty cool pictures. And since my first shift for Thon was a press shift, at 5.30, I hit the hay to get some rest. Rise and shine, Mikey. No time for sleep. It's Thon weekend. So two hours later, I was out of bed. I wanted to go check out the festivities before having to work. So I headed over to Thon about 8 o'clock, got a feel for things, and then went back to my room to pack up my bag. One outfit change later, and it was about 11.15, getting ready for my midnight shift. I had my laptop. My camera, additional lens, camera charger, disposable camera, microphone, chargers for my laptop, everything I needed to get through the midnight shift. Alright, game time. I made my way over to the Bryce Jordan Center, got over there at around 11.40, couple minutes to spare before my midnight shift started. And uh, yeah, the vibes were high, the BJC looked great in color, all festive, bright light and whatever up for Thon. Uh, got in about 12.04, got my seat on press row, took in the view, pretty good view I gotta say, but my view gets better later in the video, did some fake typing for the video and then did some real typing off camera for some articles that I was working on for the blog, um, took in the vibes of the line dance. Absolutely devoured a chicken basket about 3.16 a.m., didn't record it because I was so hungry. Watch more line dance. And yeah, considering that it was like 4 a.m. at this point, the vibes were pretty good. Uh, over the course of the night, I wrote about like five articles, I think. I'm not quite sure. I also took a lot of pictures. Um, so as you can see me typing here, I did this pretty cool time lapse. I don't know, I thought it looked cool, I was writing an article. But anyway, I'll show you some of the pictures I took throughout the evening. Um, uh, I took a bunch. If you want to see more, you can check out my, uh, photography account on Instagram, at D'Angelo's Photos. But overall, it was a great experience. Um, I think the pictures turned out pretty good, and I'm proud of a lot of the articles I, I wrote. Uh, and as you guys can obviously tell by, you know, the clips I'm showing you in this video, uh, the vibes were definitely pretty high in the Bryce Jordan Center all night, which is really cool. <laughs> So after doing really bad at the line dance, at around 6 a.m., I decided I would get breakfast. They did have some offerings at the BJC for breakfast, so I got a waffle, some orange juice, and some fruit. Um, you know, I gave the waffle a try, and uh, it was cold and a little stale, but uh, honestly, it's not that bad. So after wrapping up my breakfast, I uh, did a little bit more work nearing the end of the shift. Uh, they did this mopping where they uh, they move all the dancers into these little corrals and they mop the floors and uh, this is the sort of stuff you don't see when you 
when you go to Thon only at like the peak hours. This is like the early morning, late night type stuff. Um, everyone has their favorite mopping phase. Personally, you know, I'm a mopping phase two kind of guy. Uh, you know, a lot of people like mopping phase three. Um, little guys rolling around on their carts. Having a good old time. This guy, I didn't get on video. This guy was really vibing to the music earlier. But anyway, this was like a long process. <laughs> and this was like an hour. It felt like, I don't actually know how long it was, but. Well, I'm, uh, it's on my shift and it's, uh, it's a light out now. Which is, you know, might seem normal to you guys, but, uh, it's weird. I'm still throwing it off. Anyway, now for sleep. I wish it was that easy, but uh, before bed I did have to do a little bit more work. I had to edit this TikTok for the Onward State TikTok page. Uh, and then finally, after a really long time of being awake, at around 9 a.m., I did get some shut-eye. Five hours later. <laughs> so, um... Wait, don't put that in there. Why not? Oh. You just jumped. Yeah. You chose to jump. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's it's morning for me, but in reality, it's three thirty. Yeah. No, I slept a little bit. So uh, I go back to work again at um, at seven thirty. So I'm good. Didn't miss anything. But uh, but yeah, I slept longer than I. Because <laughs> I didn't have any direct responsibility, I allowed myself to sleep subconsciously. But uh, night one was good. Um, flew by, went a lot quicker than I thought. But yeah, did some good stuff, and uh, I don't know where Lena went. On to night two, just doing pictures tonight. So, as college students do, Leah and I got some really crappy food from the dining hall. It's actually not that bad. And then just like that, I was thrust out on the floor for the pep rally. So as you can tell, unlike my last shift, there were a lot of people in the house for this one. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the Pep Rally is an event where uh, most of the D1 sports teams at Penn State come out and do a performance, a dance, uh, to compete for the title spot. Uh, and I didn't do much videoing because, again, I was working, but my job was to take pictures, so I'll show you some of them right now. So the event was kicked off by the Penn State cheer team, which was really great, and then we got to see Super Bowl champion Nick Scott from the LA Rams, he used to play for Penn State football, caught the red eye in for this event. And then we saw some really adorable hosts and we just got to see all the performances from the various teams. The Nittany Lion was there, it was great. Uh, a lot of fun stuff and men's soccer ended up taking the crown. And then at the end, we got a performance from B. Miller. She was the headline artist for the evening. She came out and did an hour long set, which was really great. And a lot of people really enjoyed it. All right. It's 11 o'clock, that's day two. I'm finishing at a normal time today, 11 o'clock. I'm going home, I get to sleep, this is great. One day left, uh, and it's a short day. I just got a morning shift, so uh, let's leave the rainbow BJC behind. I'll see you guys tomorrow. The next morning. I regret taking this footage a little bit, but it's honest. This is what I look like in the morning, very tired and I like to keep my teeth clean. But anyway, final day, made our way over to the Bryce Jordan Center at a relatively normal time of about 7.30, 7.40 a.m. and made my way out onto the floor for my final floor shift of Thon. And I did get some pictures. 
So we start with the Slides of Strength, which is an event that one of the groups holds, OPP, where they douse the dancers in baby powder and give them some encouragement. Uh, and then I saw President Barron, the president of Penn State, speak. And then saw some really adorable kids wandering around the floor, saw people stretching. This is the toughest part, I think, for the dancers because it's in before the fun last couple of hours, uh, but they're still you know, almost two days in at this point and really tired. And then I wrapped up my floor ship with this, uh, the kids' talent show, or sorry, the kids' fashion show. Got to see some cool outfits, some really sweet kids. Then I headed up to the press room to edit up these pictures so I could send them off to my editors, and that was it. And, uh, same door, leaving again. That's it for my fond coverage for Homeward State. Thanks for following that along, but now we're gonna go watch the final four. I was just as a spectator, but uh, my family's coming up today, but not till later. And I've got to say, these are definitely the best four hours of the whole event. Touching hands, reaching out. Covering and just being at Thon was one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had. And I'm so grateful to Onward State and everybody who, you know, helped me have this opportunity. I hope you enjoyed watching my adventures this weekend. Um, it might have seemed like I was working, but this was just a blast. It was fun, and uh, I wouldn't have traded it for anything else. So thanks for following along, and I'll see everybody in the next video.